people throw in lots of money, do very sophisticated research, and still get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. But let's not. Let's. I mean, let's not. We shouldn't stop at Coca Cola Black. It's not maybe the most interesting object at the museum. But I mean, Coca Cola is not a stupid company, and they know their market. They know their consumers. They they definitely know the beverage market. If any company does, it's Coca Cola. So. They don't create a new product unless they've done their research. They they do their testing, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of people, a lot of competent people that signed off on the Coca Cola Black uh, to to launch it. So it wasn't just a test, sort of a random shot and in, out into the blue to see what would happen. Um, and they still failed despite knowing all of that. So it does. What I think it does, it reminds us how how risky innovation is, even for these super rich, super competent and experienced companies. Um, but to answer your question, I mean, some of the objects in the museum are just like, like he said in the video, they're like, what, what were they thinking? Like, he, like somebody just had a great idea, dumped a bunch of money into it, and then it didn't work out. But most of the innovations are still uh, a result of, you know, of a, of a fairly strict pro uh, um, process w within these or or organizations. Mm. <laughs> you you do want you do wonder sometimes, but uh... <laughs> so there's <laughs> one there's one there's one from uh, from the UK that I'm fa I'm fascinated with, but nobody else seems to be interested in it. Um, it's called the Amstrad Emailer. Do you remember this? Well, I know the brand Amstrad, but I can't yeah. I, I can't so remember the product. No, exactly, which is a shame because it, it killed it killed the company more or less. Um, so what's his name, sir? Sir Alan Sugar. Adam Adam Alan Sugar, big shot entrepreneur and inventor. Uh, the you know, powerful dude, um, had this vision that he wanted people to connect to the internet. And this is I mean, this is a, this is this is a great idea at the time. But um, so he created this fax looking, this advanced fax slash computer device called the emailer. Uh, and, um, and the idea was that everybody could afford to connect to the internet. But by that, it was only email, right? So <clears throat> this device was launched when people could actually buy real computers and connect to internet, real internet. But the Amstrad emailer was a device you could only connect to their servers and you had to pay a minute, a per minute charge to be connected. And, and the idea was so bad, nobody within the company supported it. Consumers hated it. Everybody hated it. But this bold visionary entrepreneur still you know, spearheaded the project. And ultimately, it led to the demise of the company in, in many ways. And nobody knows about it. And I'm fascinated uh, with that story because otherwise, usually CEOs and entre uh, you know the, the entrepreneurial founder of a company, the visionary, gets all the you know uh, praise for being so visionary. But it's seldom we hear of the other side of the story that it can also be yeah. you know stupidity. It, it,